All right. I haven't told anyone on Facebook or announced it on YouTube or anything, but um, I want to do something different on the channel. For those of you who've been watching my channel, uh, I love to camp, go on uh, adventures here in Thailand, all over the world. And uh, this is one of the things that I wanted to do since I'm here. So right behind me is where I'm going to be camping. And it's going to be a stealth camp. First time I've really actually done a stealth camp here in Thailand or anywhere for that matter. And so if you guys can look way up there, that's where I'm staying. All right, today I'm going to be traveling here in Bangkok to go to a uh, location that's abandoned. I'm going to do a, a stealth camp. All right, wish me luck. That ain't him, is it? Yes. Oh. Hey, Dad, man. <laughs> it's up. I'm up. I'm up back. Okay. Then you can carry. Yeah, then you can Please do. Record. Okay. Okay. Good luck. Have fun. Put your sunglasses on before you lose it. Love you. Love you. Okay. Couple on. Okay. Yeah, long as you make sure I don't forget it. Okay. D. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hi, Dave. Alright, I finally made it to my location as far as uh, my walking. I got dropped off at the local temple.
I'm gonna fix my backpack. Okay, I had to fix that. A lot of pressure on my back. Still not really comfortable. I, I just got a lot of weight on the back. All right, I'm gonna go out towards the main street and I'm gonna head towards my location. You gotta be like physically fit. I'm telling you, you walk around the streets of Bangkok carrying a backpack, it's probably at least, I don't know, I wanna say it's about 40 pounds in the US. But well, finally, I look like a uh, backpacking tourist here in Thailand. I've been here for about two years and never done any type of backpacking. Uh, so if you guys have been watching me on my channel, I do a lot of camping, but not, uh, not a lot of um, exploring or walking around and doing, doing my own thing here in Thailand. But I'm going to get to my location. Probably about a 40 minute to an hour walk. Uh, I think it's around, I don't know, five miles. Alright, had to readjust my backpack again. starting to rain so I gotta kind of pick up the pace but I'm stuck in a predicament I gotta get across this street to the other side A lot of cars coming, so I don't want to take a chance. So if you're traveling in, traveling in Southeast Asia, I don't care if you had a crosswalk or any pedestrian um, crosswalk or whatever you want to call it, they don't let you in. They don't even stop for you, so I've seen too many people get hit foreigners come here and think they're uh, safe walking across a crosswalk and they get hit. Alright, I'm going to go across. Got a break. But one of the most things I love about Thailand is that it's friendly. People are friendly. And they have uh, aloe food. So... Keep walking. I haven't told anyone on Facebook or announced it on YouTube or anything, but um, I want to do something different on the channel. For those of you who've been watching my channel, uh, I love to camp, go on uh, adventures here in Thailand, all over the world. And uh, this is one of the things that I wanted to do since I'm here. So right behind me is where I'm going to be camping, and it's going to be a stealth camp. First time I've really actually done a stealth camp here in Thailand or anywhere for that matter. And so if you guys can look 
way up there. That's where I'm staying. But uh, it's starting to rain, so I've got to hurry up and get where I'm going. I've walked about 40 minutes, and uh, I'm ready to get this backpack off. So I'm here at my location, but I need to get behind these uh, buildings because of the fact there's no entryway from the front. So there's one, two, three, and there's more. There's about seven towers. I'm staying in the third one. All right, I gotta cross back over. So I timed it about right. I got here before the rain. Now I just gotta figure out which way to go. There's nothing holding you back. All right, I gotta go that way. get set up. I gotta climb a lot of floors to get where I'm going. This is the sketchy part. where the bats live. And there are bats in here. All right, I gotta go one more over here. Must have had a lot of rain because it's water dripping everywhere down the sides. Oh. So I don't know what floor I'm on. I think I'm only on this maybe the third floor but I gotta go I gotta get to go on it's 
my first time staying the night or even stealth camping in a building here in Bangkok, Thailand. Um, I'm a little worried, but <laughs> hopefully there's no one here. Going to the last building. Well, the building I'm going to. Like I said, there are bats in here. I don't see them as of yet, but I don't want to. I gotta figure out which way to go. All right, that's where I gotta go. All right, so, say it's the sixth floor. Going to the 14th floor. Okay, let's go, let's do it. Now the only reason why I chose the 14th floor is because I don't think it's, I think it's a lot less activity up here versus being down on the bottom floors. All right, eight. A lot more gang, graffiti, drugs on the lower floors. So this is the reason why I want to come up higher. Stay away from all that. Okay. Gotta go up. Workout. Oh, I gotta take a break. Trying to see if I can find some bats, which I don't really want to find them, but I want to sh show you guys. There's some bats in here, big ones. I don't see them though. Usually they're hanging over here in the corners. This. Uh, they may not even be in here right now. Well, oh boy, so that's a drop. Oh, okay. Gotta go. I can't believe I'm doing this by myself. But I'm taking one for the team. 
floor. 13. Floor. 14. Oh. Okay. Make sure you no bats in here. Does anybody know where I'm at? Oh. All right. So I'm up here on the 14th floor, and we're going to stay the night. Alright, I'm gonna get set up. All right, the rain is coming in. Skies are getting cloudy. I don't know about you guys, but I'm telling you, this is it's sketchy. <laughs> just a open door, just 14 floors. I think this is about a 30 floor building. Judging on the, looking at the next one beside me. And I'm only on the 14th floor, so makes me a little queasy.
little thunderstorm there. There's one behind me. And there's one to my right. There's some birds flying around, these swallows. And I, I think they must live in here because they keep swarming the outside of the, the door frames. They may not like me in here, but they got more floors to choose from. I had to bring a chair. I just, I just absolutely don't like sitting on the ground, especially here. Rats, poop, bat guano, pigeon poop. There's all kinds of poop behind me. I'm just uh, trying to keep everything clean as much as I can. And this thing right here reeks from the last time I've used it. It absolutely reeks. I brought a two-person tent. It's actually really small. Uh, it's perfect for backpacking. And also brought a cot. Because there again, I don't like sleeping on the ground, especially concrete. I brought my pad to lay on my cot. But um, I have a... I have vertigo really bad, so anytime I lay like literally flush, flat with the ground, I get, I get dizzy. Rain fly, ground sheet. Everything is very dirty. thing is actually the same width <laughs> of this so it might work out Box, box myself into a hole. Box, box, box myself in. All right. Whew. Thing fits perfectly in there. Just a little shy, but against the wall. But it fits, fits really well. Now, I know I'm covered up, but I'm by all these windows, these open portals is what I'm going to call them because that's what they look like. Um, so I'm really surprised there's no wind, but if it does get windy and rainy, it's going to blow right in. So I'm going to put the, put the rain fly on just in case. I've got to call my wife. All right, so it's getting very cloudy. <laughs> uh, that storm's coming over now. I'm gonna show you the rain over here. I 
I'm getting a little, little bit of a breeze now, so it's good. That storm is right over us. But you guys can tell it's getting hammered right over there. All right, you guys, that rain is coming. It's coming this way. Um, look how black it is. And there's a big direction of wind coming now. So you guys are gonna see it blow through here. Almost lost my bag. Ooh, that wind. It's coming. Don't worry, she'll fit. I've done this before. Ooh, the rain. Here it comes. High winds. High winds. Oi. Hi. Fix that later. Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm getting I'm getting hammered.
hammer. Look at that rain, man. Blow my tent everywhere. Tent's getting all wet. I'm most uh, hesitant to stand by the doors, man. I don't trust myself or the wind. Wind's blowing really hard. Look at that, boy. The storm is coming from the north. Look at all that traffic. <clears throat> It's starting to get really dark. Um, kind of spooky, actually, because I keep on feeling like I know it's my nerves or my whatever, my conscience or whatever, but I keep on feeling like there's something around the corner just watching me. I got goosebumps. I don't know. <clears throat> This is, uh, well, let's go back there. Let's go back to my tent. So, like I said, it's pretty spooky. I don't know. I feel like I just got to wash my back. My tent is being flooded right now. Hopefully it's okay. All right, we're getting uh, some cracks of lightning and thunder right here in just a second. But just to give you an uh, insight of what I'm doing or where I'm at, I'm at uh, Moon Tong Tani. It's the, uh, these abandoned buildings here in Thailand. There's no doors, nothing to keep you from falling. Uh, Drug-related gangs. You name it, they they do it here. Somebody's yelling. So supposedly these are haunted, and uh, I'm totally up here by myself, as far as I know. But I've, I have a feeling if somebody sees me with a light on, they're going to come up here. So I have to be very very discreet because I'm standing in the windows the door frames, and people from the street can probably see me. Yeah, so, Tony, 
Random Adventures 2.0. This is for you, man. I'm doing a stealth camp in Bangkok, Thailand, in one of the world's most haunted places in Bangkok, Thailand. So I'm on the 14th floor. It's pouring down raining. It's thunder and lightning. My tent's all wet now. <laughs> all the water came in from the wind. And uh, you guys wish me luck. And I'm going to make some coffee and something to eat. So, so let's get that started. As dinner tonight. Coffee for the morning. Oh, always good to have a pack of clean wipes with you. Battery, another light, my cook set. I'm gonna make some coffee. I'm gonna get my pillow aired up first. best pillow I've owned. The only thing I don't like about this is I can't see behind me this way. There's a wall that blocks the entryway and I can't see if somebody comes around the corner or not. I made the big mistake. I wanted to bring more lighting and my wife uh, and I decided to bring her lantern. She had an oil lantern, kerosene lantern. And uh, she filled it up. It's stuck in my backpack. And what do you think happened? It all leaked in my backpack. The oil leaked. Leaked all in my backpack. I'm just playing cleanup right now. It's a mess. At least it cooled off. It's uh, the winds. I got a slight breeze going through here now. Of all the spots I pick, <laughs> it's right in the puddle of water. It's okay. That's why tents are waterproof ish. I'm excited to camp out, stealth camp for the first time here in Thailand. Pouring down raining, thunderstorms. I had three going on at one time one over here, one over there, and one behind me. They all just come together. It's rain everywhere. I don't know if you guys can hear that rain. But if it gets windy, Again, I'm screwed. Oi! Oh, that's gonna be loud. It's right above me. You tend to learn a lot when you do things like this because I've forgotten a few things that I wanted to bring. Um, you have to uh, improvise for the situation you're in because of the elements going on, rain, wind. Um, like I said, I spilled all the kerosene oil on my backpack and thank God it's uh, scentless. So there's no smell. But uh, I forgot to bring my lantern. I was supposed to bring a lantern um, to hook up my propane gas to. I forgot that so, so I could have extra light.
For tonight's dinner, I'm having uh, chili beans, pinto beans, one of my favorites. And also I have a, uh, a thing of ramen noodle. So what do you guys think? Um, would y'all do something like this? Would you uh, stealth camp in one of Bangkok's abandoned buildings for one night during a thunderstorm? Thankfully, there's a slight breeze. As I'm telling you earlier, it was so hot, my shirt's still wet. Pretty good. There's two sets of stairs. There's one on this side and there's one on the other side. So you have to walk around. You have to walk around this way to go on the other side of the stairs. Well, I got lost. Whoa, that's just creeping me out, man. We got water pouring in. I don't think I'd want to be on the next floor. It's just a totally different set of stairs. It's uh, going on nine o'clock. Still pouring down rain and outside. Probably hear it. But I'm gonna make something to eat. Cause I'm starving. Let me show you guys outside. So I'm literally hanging outside the building. There's nothing, no wall, no door, no block, no barricade, nothing. Hanging the tripod out the window. Still raining. Let me go this other side and show you guys. It's pitch black in here. I walked right through there. So this is how dark it is. You cannot see nothing. So here's with the light on. <laughs> Keep hearing stuff. This building is solid concrete. But they, they drew holes in every floor to to drain the water comes from the, the roof 
all the way down. I'm gonna open up this can of beans. Here, bat. There's bats in here, big time bats. I'm not talking about your little dainty little blood suckers. These are huge. I might have to skip coffee in the morning. I brought uh, two things of water, two of these, this and this, and I'm almost out. Oh my gosh, it's hot, man. My beans are done. And <clears throat> putting this up under that kept my beans from burning. So good idea. It looks like I'm not gonna be having coffee in the morning. I barely got any water left. All right, I'm gonna eat the rest of these beans, tidy up a little bit afterwards, try to cool off. Um, it's 9.30, I'm sweating. My wife just called, see how I was, and uh, I told her it's like being in the bottom of the basement, concrete, humidity, moisture, no breeze, and just it's just coming, wafting up, and oh, I'm hot, man. Hopefully there'll be a slight breeze comes through. Weather-wise, it's still raining. It's been continuing to rain for a few hours now. I walked around here a little bit. I'm just running out of light. <laughs> I've got this light left and that one. And this one was, is at 20%. This can stay on for a few hours. So It's hot in here, boy. I thought I was going to have to sleep with a blanket at night, but... <sighs> Shoot. No point. All right. Well, it's quarter after 10. It stopped raining. And um, so, yeah, I'm trying to try to get to sleep, get this night over with, man. We'll see you all in the morning. All right, you guys. Good night. Hey, good morning, everyone. It's about 6, 6.30 this morning. Beautiful sunrise. Um, expecting some rains today in a few hours. I'm gonna go ahead and pack things up and get out of here. I have no coffee, no water, um, but I got a, a good walk back. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Uh, I had fun, it was exciting, and I did it. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed it, so. Uh, you guys go ahead and uh, enjoy the sunrise. I'm gonna pack this thing up.
finish the rest of this up. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching Traveling Tiv, and uh, be sure to like and comment down the, in the bottom. If you guys have any questions, let me know, or any comments. I'd like to hear from you. So, I'm out. Well, I definitely didn't do this last time. Ah, so that's where it was, way up there. All right, I'm down, heading home. I'm gonna catch a grab, motorcycle, taxi, and uh, head on home. But first, I'm gonna get some coffee. Took a 
the wrong turn, that's all. Get out of this rooster, cockroach, rat infested pigeon, hoarding place. So the cop on, you open, cafe, chai. Some pony out. Hello, I'm out, my. Cap on cap. Okay. Thank you, thank you. For the cop. Better than any coffee I've had so far. I don't know if it's because I'm just thirsty or what, but I'm telling you, this was really good.